Okay, this next trick is called the impossible jigsaw. To perform this, I'm going to need someone to do it on, so I've got Catherine here to come and join me. Hi, Hi Catherine. Okay, so we're going to play a game with a jigsaw puzzle. The jigsaw puzzle is inside this bag. Uh, we'll come to it in a moment's time, I'm just going to leave it there for the time being. We've got a, bag, uh, a little box full of pieces, have a look at them, make sure they're all different. Yep, they're all different. We'll just show a few of them to the camera, just so they can see. We've got a whole bunch of jigsaw pieces. And we're going to place them all face down onto this table here before us. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to play a simple game. We're going to eliminate these pieces one at a time. For instance, if I was to point to two pieces, you would choose one of these pieces to go back in the box. Which one would you like okay. it to be? That one, and we'll get rid of that piece. Now again, you point to two pieces, and I'm going to choose to get rid of this one. I point to two pieces, and you point to two pieces. I point to two pieces, and you point to two pieces. I point to two pieces, and you point to two pieces. So you can see we're slowly getting rid of them one at a time. Is it me? Okay. And you point to two. And I'll point to two. And you point to two. And it's me to point to two. I'm just going to mix up a few of these pieces here just to get them back into the other table. And go on. You point to two. And you point to two. I'll point to two. A new point to two. Got that one. A new point to two. 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 And we'll get rid of that one. So we got rid of all these pieces one by one, and you can see that all these pieces in here are all different, and there's lots of pieces to have chosen. Now we're left with one piece, and what piece is that? Have a look at it. So now I have some type, but it's an interesting piece. Got of all those ones you selected, all those ones that we got rid of. Inside this bag is a jigsaw puzzle. And this jigsaw puzzle happens to be missing one piece. Would it be magic if your piece fits in the jigsaw? Yeah. There it is. Thank you very much for helping me. You've done a wonderful job. I'll let you go back over there now. Thank you. And we're going to explain how that trick works. Okay. So, this is the impossible jigsaw. I love this trick, I perform it quite a lot actually. And I'm going to show you basically how this trick works. It requires any jigsaw puzzle you can use. I found myself that the best jigsaw puzzles to use are 30 piece jigsaw puzzles, which are giant sized pieces. You can use 1000 piece jigsaw puzzles, but this whole choosing between pieces tends to go on a bit too long. So, maximum 30 pieces. Anything up to 20, uh, 24, 30, I think is a good number to go between. You do want to make sure that the jigsaw puzzle are giant pieces. These are two inch by two inch square pieces approximately. Um, you can get smaller pieces and you can get bigger pieces. If you go for garden jigsaw puzzles, they are ginormous pieces like close to 10 centimeters squares, um, even bigger than that. But yeah, this is the size to go for. And approximately, I get them from pound shops and dollar stores for about a pound or a dollar each. So they're not that dear. In fact, I bought this one, cost me a dollar uh, from Target in America. So how does the trick work? Well, firstly, you've got two jigsaws, which are identical. The second jigsaw is made up and placed on a frame like this. It doesn't need to be made up into a picture frame and in a bag. I've just been performing it so often. This is how I present it. But you can have this jigsaw made up and just hidden under a piece of cloth. So the, part of the trick is, how do we get to this one piece? If we go back to the table, I'm going to bring out the pieces again. There's a few interesting facts about this jigsaw. This is a 24 piece jigsaw puzzle, but there are only 23 pieces on the table. This was one of the few things I've discovered that you have to have an odd number of pieces in order for the passing of fingers to land on you as the last two pieces. Uh, it'll make sense when we get there. We're going to use a type of force known in magic as a patio force. As you can see, the pieces are genuine. This is just a second jigsaw puzzle from the same from the same batch of puzzles. And I'm going to literally turn over all the pieces just so that if anybody wanted a particular piece, they can't keep track of it. You could do the trick with all the pieces face up, but I found this was a bit better for making things look cleaner later. So the game is pretty straightforward. I'm going to point to two pieces 
and then my assistant will choose one to get rid of. I'll let you come back and help with this. So we're going to play the game. Now this is the important part. I know that the piece that I need to end with is this piece here. This is the only piece that will complete this jigsaw puzzle. Now, I could keep an eye on it and remember it, and I have done this in an impromptu situation where I had no idea I was going to do this trick until I was at a party and I just took two jigsaw puzzles off the shelf. I kept my eye on this piece because the pieces were mixed with a different jigsaw. But just to make sure in environments like this, what I've done is taken a little black pen and just drawn a little dot on the, on the back of the jigsaw puzzle. It's nothing much, you can barely see it, you won't know, did you notice it? No. no. It just helps me make sure that I don't accidentally choose the wrong piece. Uh, it, you shouldn't make a mistake, but it doesn't hurt to be safe. So the game is pretty simple. I'm going to point to two other pieces, any other piece but my special piece. Now you would choose one to get rid of. Yeah. Okay. And you would point to two pieces. Now she's pointed to two different pieces here. Neither one of them are the piece, so I can get rid of any of them. Okay. Again, I'll point to two, and again, I'm never going to pick my horse piece, and she would point to two. Let's pretend for a moment she pointed to the horse piece. Now, in this case, all I need to do is put the other one in the box. I leave my piece there. So I would point to two, and you would get rid of one. You'd point to two, and we'd get rid of that one. I would point to two, and you'd point to two. And now, again, she's picked the horse piece here, so I'd get rid of the other piece. Um, I would point to two, and you would point to two. I would point to two, and you would point to two. I would point to two, and you would point to two. Now, I'm going to do something here. This is my turn to point to two, but just in case they've selected, they pointed to this piece several times, I like to mix up the pieces, just because it makes them lose track of what, if, they, if by any chance they are keeping track of that one piece, mixing them up just doubly confuses them. So I can point to two, and you get rid of them. And you point to two, I point to two, you point to two, I point to two, you point to two, I point to two. Now this is important because I, there's only three pieces on the board, so this is why it has to be an odd number of pieces, because now I can pick up on the last two points of the last two pieces. You get rid of one. Now you would point to these two pieces, because that's how the logical progression works, and I can get rid of the piece that isn't the fourth piece. So by pure elimination of this game, we are left with one piece, which you know will magically match that jigsaw. Now, I think it's self-explanatory. Did you understand that? Yes. Yeah. So there's a great trick. You can try it. I do this in cabaret parlor shows. I've done this on the stage for a thousand people, actually. It's um, a very good trick. And I love this way of eliminating pieces to get to that one piece. But do do it with 24 to 30 piece jigsaw puzzles. Because like I said, a thousand piece jigsaws just take a bit too long to get there. Anyway, that's the Impossible Jigsaw. Thank you. And I hope you enjoy that trick. Mm -hmm.